Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, team I fix it all. Looks like um, I have a pretty stable plan going on with the big patch back here. So, what we've got is a piece of sheet metal in here that I can remove. And it's fed into the uh, slots, or the, the groove around the perimeter there was a groove there that I was able to make use of and on the inside it sort of looks like where the hell am I oh well we can see the outside world right here there's my fingers I've got a piece of sheet metal laid in there and right now it's bent and curved but I can bring it up and affix it as required. See, it follows the contour of that curve right through here. And I'll go ahead and I don't want to yank it out right now. But what I'll do is I'll probably pull this trim off and I will probably rivet that sheet steel behind this piece of trim and I'll grind the rivet off. I'll probably, I'll be running my rivets from the that side pointed out so that the stubby side is out here. I think that's the right thing to do. I gotta think about that for a minute. Which way do I face the rivet? <coughs> I should be able to, I think I'll try that out on a piece of scrap metal. What I want to do is bring the rivet from the inside pointed out so that I can grind it smooth on the outside. And coupled with that, I'll be having uh, that two-part epoxy bond for this as well. I may attempt to sneak a rivet right in here. I might get two. Don't need any rivets through here. That'll be just two part epoxy. I can add rivets along through there. Now that'll leave me with a piece of steel. I'm gonna straighten it so you can see what happens. There we go. So I'm liking what I see there. What that leaves me is a step in the metal where it's here and then it steps down to this level. What that means is I can now get another piece of metal just like this, which is right here. Whoopsie. And cut that out to that exact opening place it in there and this is where I probably will tack weld along the perimeter so this is steel I'm gonna go ahead and try to yank that out of there there we go there you go you guys can see that work I'm not real fond of dealing with this anymore I've stopped the corrosion. I'm just saying screw it. Covering it up. So, this is the shape. And a pretty large portion of this bottom edge was fitting in that groove there. And a lot of it was going in that groove. And what I'll probably end up doing is when this is installed on the back side of it, I'll use a real thin piece of aluminum sheet metal. It's real thin, it's flashing, to rest against this. Ooh. So, there'll be flashing in the back of here, 
I'm going to try to drop that in there real quick just for the hell of it. So, this is fitting really nice. Flashing will be behind this. It'll be touching the steel. The aluminum will separate this rusty steel from this good steel and maybe delay any further interaction between the two surfaces. This is already galvanized. I haven't heated it or anything. I've just snipped it out. So that's the plan. Uh, hopefully the next video will show progress. Uh, and there's a shot of one of the other patches I've already completed. And of course it needs our fill for the holes I made, but it was a hard piece to make. Real hard. We're pretty good. Some minor grinding there, but we are absolutely just a probably 15 thou low right here, which is perfect because I can fill that and transition it. And then down here, I think it just needs sandpaper. I can feel a small difference, but I'll worry over that if I'm looking for a perfection factory showroom brand new car. Um, it's only so much you can do. This is the only real hole in the car. Well, <laughs> in, well, it's hard to explain. That's the rocker. So we have a rocker in here, and then we have a heater duct. Heat travels through a tube through here then there's another channel which is called the rocker anyway enough babbling I'm gonna get to work and wish me luck thank you